And there was a song came on the radio, a guitar instrumental, and it changed everything. Link Ray, it's rock and roll. Rumble. Yeah, that's the one. Rumble. Hey, Rumble. Rumble had the power to help me say, fuck it. I'm going to be a musician. And then I found out that he was an Indian. The music that we know here in the United States is fully supported by input from native and indigenous people. Mr. Randy Casillo! Randy had become one of the most influential heavy metal drummers in the world. This is Jesse Ed Davis. I just particularly fell in love with Jesse Evan Davis. He was with Taj Mahal, and Taj's album is what spurred me to rock more. And here's your rockin' chair lady, Mildred Bailey. From 16 to 20 years old, that's the only thing I listened to was Mildred Bailey. I just said, I want to learn how to sing like her. Figuring out that these people were Indians, and then we started to ask ourselves, why didn't anyone else know that? There was this key expression, be proud you're an Indian but be careful who you tell. All of a sudden, I was talking about Native American issues and big time television. And all of a sudden, everything disappeared. From Charlie Patton to Link Ray, Robbie Robinson invented the genre. Jimi Hendrix is the best in his field. Jesse Ed Davis, everybody wanted him. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? too long under the radar. 